Yo, Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yeho, Yehoshua. This is YYBY. So, yo, I want to talk to y'all about something about. I get it now. No, this is a personal opinion. And maybe a couple people out there could probably relate what I'm talking about. Um, and y'all, and you know, before I speak on this, you know, we spend money on dolls. We put our money out. We put our hard earned money out. Invest in it, so we can you know create have creativity what we do. And one thing that I noticed, I found out the problem with Studio One. I found out. The main problem with Studio One when it comes to me, right? And and the main problem with Studio One, it first of all it has it's ha it has a lot of good options. You know, it has a lot of good options. Simplicity. Um, it's pretty good, man. But what, but people gotta understand this. When you when you watching it, when you looking at a doll all day long, right? You look, you watching a doll all day long. You 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 looking at it for hours. You watching it for hours. You staring at it for hours and everything, right? And so your visual, if your visual matters when you watching when you looking at this doll, people, all right? And you can get alpha tea. It's called inspiration. You have to be expired of what you're doing and what you're using. So, to make a long story short, get to the point. Studio One has no life. And what I mean by life, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Pause for a second. I know, yeah. All the sensitive people who love Studio One about to get emotional. You know, like as if I took the doll from y'all, as if I'm making y'all not use y'all doll. Pause. Studio One has no life. And what I mean by that is that. Just about every VSC instrument come with it. It's the same. It's plain. It's no life. It's not like reasons. Like where when it comes to reasons, every instrument has its own color and life. Every instrument is like every VSC instrument, every plugin has its own life when you're using them. When you're in Studio One, it's like all the stock stuff, even though it works pretty good. It has it has no life. There's only like a few plugins in there that has you know, of you know color to it, man. And color means a lot. Not even just color, style, style, visual, visual when you see it. You get what I'm saying? Like even when it comes to the whole track, like the whole GUI, it's you could change the color of it, but it's just one color. Red, blue, green. Like, it's not life. It's not life, earth. It's not different colors mixed with different things. Like how, for example, like if you're in Reasons and you see the XS, the XSL mixer, it's, it's, it's no life to it. And what happens is that when, you, when you're staring at it so long and you're working, it kind of get depressing. Like, I, maybe I'm tripping because this is with me, man. It get depressing. And... It actually is boring. And now when it comes to options, simplicity, when it comes to things you need, Studio One is pretty good, man. But a lot of other dogs got a lot of options too. But the GUI, when it comes to the GUI and sitting there, you watching it, it's no inspiration. It's nothing that inspire you to want to do music. So you dwell all the, all the time sometimes. I find myself dwelling all the time, not getting things done in the dog. And, I, and I'm sitting looking like, yo, like, why ain't getting shit done? Because I got, you know, people spend money, you know. Uh, you know, well, I get that done. But when it comes to personal stuff, you know, a lot of the times I procrastinate through the years and... Sometimes it don't give you that inspiration. And a lot of the times, you know, we get inspiration from many situations. We watch other videos of people doing something. We watch, we see, we, you know, we see the new, the new toy that just came out. It's many situations we see that we be inspired to want to go do music knowing that we got to get things done if this is what you do. Now, the only people who can understand my perspective is the ones who 
not only do it for love, but they make money off it. This is their job. Like, this is my job. I make money off of this. So, it's a different approach. If you, if this is just a hobby for you, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, your opinion don't... I, I won't get your analogy, what you're talking about, because you're just doing it for, a, you know, for a hustle. I mean, not for a hustle, but you're only doing it for, you know, for... Just for the fun of it. You know, but... A lot of us doing it for both because you got to love it first. And that's the key thing. Right. Key thing is love it and the fun of it and the inspiration. And it's like Studio S1 needs some life, man. It needs some life. It needs some life. I don't know how to explain exactly where, but I know one thing that it needs some color, man. And not just one plain color. It needs some life in the tracks to. The, the 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 on the mixer tracks on the the bottom board part you know like the part the part down here with the play in the and the but the, everything is just grayed out so if you only deal with everything that's grayed out then everything is blued out oranged out you just orange the fuck out man you know you, you get what i'm saying like you need some life the plug-in is just the same thing so whatever you change the color in your dog the, 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 the plugins be that color, but it's no style. Like they all the same format and plain. Like they they all like little blocks and e when you open up each plugin, it's all like small little blocks. Each block. But it's the same thing. It's only like the they only did the what the hold up. The plugins, the only plugins they did they gave some life to, which I don't understand. Like when they revamped every damn thing. They gave, they gave, you know, the, the umpire, the, the, amp, the amp they gave light to, the, the tri-comp, you know, the, um, the fat channel got a little bit of life. Um, you know, I'm talking about all the stock stuff. What else? The chorus, the chorus effect, the rotor, hold on, what else? The open, the open air reverb, got a little bit of light to it, you know, it's still gray as hell, you know, like the color gray, it's like... It's 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 really no life in the door. So maybe maybe y'all can give me some information to get me to understand why. Because I know when I first and remember, I, I've been using Studio One since the first version. I put a lot of people on Studio One before people even know about it. They they thought I was crazy about Studio One when everybody was focused on you know Ableton Live, Pro Tools, and stuff like that. So I was putting a lot of people on game with, with Studio One. And now everybody is really on it, what it's about. But at the same time, through all this, these years, it never had no life. And I kept wondering why I would run back to reasons or run to another doll, you know, and I'm like, and I'm playing with it. And, and, you know, and when I play with reasons, I'm inspired to create things all the time, even though reason don't have the, all the crazy options that Studio One had, but reasons got the most important options. And I hope 12 version it do. And, you know, mess with Ableton Live. I'm not Ableton Live. I messed with Ableton Live years ago. Uh, Bitwig. You know, uh, mini dolls. I'm going to tell, tell you a doll that got some life. FL Studio. FL Studio has a lot of life. Have a lot of inspiration. Visual. But when it comes to recording and stuff like that, then, it, it, you know, that shit, they go down, you know, go down the drain. But when it comes to production, then, you know, you on point. That, that, you, you in the best world when it comes to that. You get what I'm saying? So, all I'm saying is this, don't, like, don't take it personal, people. I'm just trying to, you know, get y'all to, get y'all to understand my perspective on this. And, you know, inspiration is very important when you want to create things. And when you're looking at it for hours and hours and hours, you want to be inspired. And and one of the top dolls that that's inspirational when it come to that, and people ain't effing with is reasons, man. Is reasons. 
when you it's like it's like a toy. When you when you it's not a toy, but when you go in it, it's like a world dealing with you seeing a whole bunch of candy, eye candy. It, and it's like you like what this do, what this do, and you you inspire to want to do things. Studio One don't make you feel that way. It's powerful, we get the job done, it's professional, but at the same damn time, man, we we as creators, we want to have that inspiration, we want to have that eye candy, we want to have that visual of, 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 of things to look at when you're sitting there watching this for hours and hours. I fall asleep when I'm in front of Studio One working on stuff. I literally sit here and be like this, working on everything, trying to get it done, and be like, I kid you not. When I'm in reasons, when I'm in reasons eleven, I, yo, I'm like I'm like a little ass kid, you know. I'm like a little ass kid, like I just got a new toy. So you know how we used to be when we was young boys, when we when, when we were kids and we get our new game system and stuff like that. You know how that was. Every dude, every dude experienced that when you got something you really like. That's the same situation. S one is lacking on that very heavy, and maybe some of y'all since I brought this up. Now that might be your problem now, and y'all didn't realize it. This is why why be why.